What is up, man? 25 Gamers, we're back in the 52 defense. This defense can be found in the Detroit Lions playbook. I apologize for not mentioning that prior to this video, but it can be found in the Detroit Lions playbook. Uh, here we're going to break down two-way pressure. Out of any play in the 52 defense, you want to base the line, you want to shift that linebacker to the right, re-blitz that linebacker, then you're going to shift your D-line to the left, and now you're going to crash your D-line to the right. This is going to create an overload concept. Remember, you're standing in the A-gap with KJ Wright. Here you're going to see you're going to get two guys free at the quarterback. Um, there we got Bruce Urban and the linebacker free. Let's take a look at that in instant replay, why this blitz is so effective. Partially because of the speed at which Bruce Irving will come off the ball. And also, one of the, another reason why I really like this formation is because you can easily get two-way pressure. As you see, uh, Wagner coming off the other side there. So one more time here, we'll take a look at this. Uh, and a, just a standard look, and then we'll show you what they block a halfback. But the idea here, two-way pressure, you're standing over the A-gap. And what you're going to do is you're going to go... The, the first movement is you're going to sit, and then you're going to go to the left. So, like, what, it's literally going to look like this. Sit, go to the left. So, here we're going to go snap, sit, go to the left, and then drop out. And there you're going to see the, the uh, edge pressure there from Wagner. Now, one thing that you can see there, if that is happening, if that problem arises, then just put that DT on a contain. It's going to make it a little bit better. Um, as you see, it actually makes a really, fa a really fast pressure. The idea, though, is we want to limit our adjustments. So, that's just something that's optional. Um, you should not have to do that. To get that left edge pressure, it should just come in through the crash and you use her in the A-gap. But sometimes you need a little extra thing, and there you go, and there it is, the pressure. It's really pretty good. Let's take a look at that initial replay one more time before we get out of here. And then we're going to show you a block and a half back. See, the contain is going it, to, it's similar to the contain, but it's a Madden 12, or not Madden 12, Madden 11, where he's going to lure that guy on the outside, allow that edge pressure to come in. And you see you got a guy on the right. With you using, the, with you using over the A-gap, it's going to hold that center long enough uh, for the right B-gap to come in. So that's what we like to do out of that. Let's show it to you blocking a running back now. All right, guys, so one of the reasons we like to have two-way pressure is because if your opponent blocks a running back, uh, this is going to allow the pressure to still come in. So remember the setup, uh, contain that DT, uh, crash your line to the right, contain that DT, use the uh, A-gap, snap, go. Here you see they're going to pick up that left edge, but the right edge will still come free. Um, this is very important in your blitzing scheme to have a play we showed you earlier on the week, something that, that sends a guy free off the left, a guy free off the right. Now we're sending two guys. One guy's going to come free if they block a running back. It's very important to have that. Uh, in your Madden 25 Blitzing Scheme. So that does it for today's Blitz of the Day. Be sure to come back for uh, tomorrow for another great Blitz of the Day, and also be sure to stay tuned this whole entire week. We break down how to use the 5-2 as a full scheme on our YouTube channel in our Scheme of the Week series. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow.